Beautiful. Welcome, Silver Sirens. Welcome to Yoga in the Sanctuary. And we have the pleasure of introducing Deb Johnston, who is zooming in all the way from far north Queensland. And she's going to take us through a really beautiful yoga flow. Over to you, Deb. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be invited again, Faith. Thank you for inviting me. Um, my name is Deb Johnston, as you know, I'm a tri yoga teacher. So I teach um, a, a flow called tri yoga or a form of yoga called tri yoga, which was channeled by a beautiful guru named Kuliji about 40 years ago. Um, it is a hatha style of yoga, it's very gentle, it's very flowing, and it's quite slow. And um, it's very much, tri yoga is very much about alignment and really feeling into the body through each posture. Uh, we work on posture, breath and focus. And so I guide you through posture, breath and focus. And as is usual with any form of yoga, it's important to listen to our body and what our body is capable of. And um, everybody's body is different. We're all built differently. And sometimes we, someone else can do something that we find challenging and vice versa. And it doesn't mean that anyone's better than anybody else. There's no competition or comparison. It's just about working with our own body and with our own limit, our own body's limitations. Okay, so we're gonna begin with standing and I'm gonna take you through a yoga flow for about 40 minutes, about 35 minute yoga flow, and we'll allow some time at the end for deep relaxation. Um, deep relaxation is really important because what that does, it helps our body assimilate the practice. And um, it's very similar to digestion after a really good meal. It's an essential part of yoga to help our body gain the greatest benefits. So. I hope you'll allow time for the deep relaxation. And then we've got some time afterwards for discussion. So let's get onto our mat. Um, I apologize if I do a, a little bit of throat clearing. I'm about week three after having a cold. So there might be a little bit of throat clearing. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so beginning on your mat, making sure if you have some yoga blocks that you have them placed at the front of your mat, as you can see on here, either side of the mat at the front. Um, and a pillow is really handy. Uh, it's always great to have a few different props um, because it can help, especially especially as we age. I mean, like I said, we all have different limitations anyway, anyway, no matter what our age, but especially more so as we age because it will help us do some of the postures um, where that we feel a little bit more comfortable. So we'll begin by facing the camera. Feet hip distance apart, feet parallel. Arms relaxed by the sides, hands in Yana Mudra with the thumb and the forefinger together. Shoulders relaxed back and down. And we'll begin with just some breath awareness. So with your eyes gently closed or with your eyes slightly open, if that helps a little bit more with balance and with your eyes in a gentle gaze. Lengthening up through the crown of the head and bringing your attention to your breath. Noticing what your breath does normally. Noticing how you're breathing, whether you're breathing quickly or slowly, the way you normally breathe, <clears throat> whether your breathing is shallow or deep. And then just transitioning now into natural breath. As you inhale, the abdomen expands. As you exhale, the abdomen gently pulls in. Natural breath is slow, even flowing and effortless.
Notice as we invite the air down into the base of our lungs that our breath just slows down naturally all by itself. And now transitioning into complete breath. On your next inhale, filling your lower, your middle, and your upper lungs. On the exhale, releasing from the upper, the middle, the lower lungs, pulling the navel in firmly to the base of the spine. <coughs> As you breathe in, the abdomen expands, the rib cage expands, the chest expands. As you breathe out, the chest softens, the rib cage softens, and the abdomen pulls in firmly to the base of the spine. Complete breath, filling your lungs to a comfortable maximum. There's no pushing, there's no forcing. Complete breath in, complete breath out. Adding the sound ujjayi, if you know the sound. On your next inhale, prep palm tree, place your left hand on your left hip and extend the right arm up. Exhale, palm tree, the hips move to the right as the spine curves to the left. Inhale, back to prep, arm extended. And exhale, release the arm down. Release the left hand from the hip and place the right hand on the right hip. Inhale, raise the left arm. Prep, exhale, palm tree. The hips move to the left. The spine curves to the right. <clears throat> Inhale, back to prep. And exhale, release the arm down and change the hands on the hips. Inhale, raise the right arm up. Exhale, palm tree, sway to the left, hips move to the right. Inhale, back to prep, arm up. Exhale, release the arm down. Change the hands on the hips. Inhale, prep, palm tree, raise the left arm up. And exhale, hips move to the left as we sway to the right. Inhale, back to prep, arms up. Exhale, release the arm down, change the hands on the hips. Inhale, raise the right arm up. Exhale, palm tree, bend to the left and hold for palm tree asana. Making sure that the right hand is on you, sorry, the left hand is on your hip and that elbow is pointing backwards. Your right shoulder is back as if against an invisible wall. Breathing into your complete breath. On your next inhale, spine comes back to center. Exhale, release the arm down. Change the hands. Inhale, raise the left arm up. Exhale, palm tree right side. We bend to the right. The hips move to the left. 
and hold the palm tree asana. Making sure the right elbow is back. The left shoulder is back as if against an invisible wall. Complete breath filling your lower, your middle, your upper lung. On your next inhale, spine comes back to center. Exhale, release the arm down, release the right hand and hold in standing asana. Bringing your focus to your breath, complete ujjayi breath. On your next inhale, quarter turn to face the short end of the mat. Making sure that you're standing a foot length away from your blocks if you're using blocks. <clears throat> Feet a hip distance apart. Inhale and standing. Upward salute. Exhale, earth touch, sit bones move back, knees bend with a lengthened spine lower. As the hands reach the earth, the spine relaxes down. Inhale, monkey, the sit bones move back, the spine lengthens and your hands come to your block. Or to your mat, whichever you're doing. Inhale here, lift the heels, bend the knees, and you can either walk back or jump back to mountain, which in traditional yoga is downward dog. Inhale in mountain or downward dog, if you prefer to call it that. Exhale, cat tuck, tuck the chin, curve the spine, tuck the tailbone, the knees bend. The knees lower, inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine into cat alignment. Exhale, release the toes and sway back to child with your arms forward. The child asana. Complete breath, filling your lower, your middle, your upper lungs. On your next exhale, prep natural seat, tuck your chin, curve your spine, vertebra by vertebra, bringing your shoulders over your hips, inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine through the crown of the head, hands to heart and namaste. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips into cat. You can either place your hands on the mat or on your blocks if you have them. Inhale here, exhale, cat tuck, tuck the tailbone, curve the spine, vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, lengthening from the base into cat. Exhale, cat tuck, tuck the tailbone, curve the spine, vertebra by vertebra, really tucking, tucking the chin last. Inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine through the crown of the head into cat. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cat. Exhale, sway back to child. Sway the sit bones back with a lengthened spine 
and then lower into child with your arms forward. Child asana, breathing into your lower, your middle, your upper lungs. I'm just going to jump up and change my screen. Let me see. <clears throat> On your next exhale, prep natural seat, tuck the chin, curve the spine, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, natural seat, lengthening from the base through the crown of the head, arms to the sides. Exhale, child, bring your arms back with a length of spine lower. Inhale here. Exhale, step natural seat, tuck the chin, curve the spine. And the shoulders come over the hips. Inhale, lengthening from the base into natural seat. Exhale, child, with a lengthened spine, hinge forward from the hips and lower. Inhale here. Exhale, prep natural seat, tuck the chin, curve the spine, vertebra by vertebra, tucking the tailbone as the shoulders come over the hips. Inhale, natural seat, lengthening from the base of the spine up through the crown of the head. Exhale, child, inch forward from the hips with a lengthy spine and lower. And hold the child asana. Complete breath, filling your lower, your middle, your upper lungs. Complete breath in, complete breath out. On your next exhale, prep natural seat, tuck the chin, curve the spine, tuck the tailbone, bring the shoulders over the hips. Inhale, lengthening from the base into natural seat, hands to heart in namaste. Exhale, hinge forwards into prep for cat bow one to catch alignment with the fingers facing towards each other. Inhale here, pull up through the pelvic floor, tone the core. Exhale, cat bow one, lowering the upper body as far as you can. Inhale, press back up to cat prep. Exhale, cat bow one. Inhale, press back up to prep. Making sure that your pelvic floor stays engaged, your core stays engaged. Continue with your cat bow ones in your own breathing rhythm. Next time you're back up in prep with the cat alignment. Hold. And exhale, sway back to child with the arms forward. Child asana, feeling into where your breath is naturally expanding and invite that expansion even more. When you're in your child asana or when you're in your natural seat, you might find it, if you have any knee problems, you might find it easier with blocks underneath your buttocks or even a cushion between your calf and your posterior thigh muscle to give a little bit of space in the knee joint.
With breath awareness on your next exhale, prep natural seat, tuck the chin, curve the spine. Inhale, lengthening from the base into natural seat. Exhale, hinge forwards into cat. And if you have blocks, placing your hands on your blocks. Inhale here, tuck your toes, lift your knees and sway back to mountain or downward dog. Inhale and mountain. Exhale, right side runner. Tuck your chin, curve your spine, push back with the left heel, bring the right foot forward into runner. Inhale, the back knee lowers. As we lengthen from the base of the spine through the crown of the head. Inhale here. Exhale, mountain with a lengthened spine. Lift the back knee. Sway the sit bones back to mountain. Inhale here. Exhale, left side runner. Push back through the left he right heel. And step forward with the left foot into runner, lowering the back knee. Inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine up through the crown of the head. Exhale, mountain. The back knee lifts, and sway back to mountain. Inhale here. Exhale, right side runner, push back with the left heel. Curve the spine as you step forward with the right foot. Inhale, lengthening from the base through the crown of the head. Exhale, mountain. Lift the back knee. Sway back to mountain. Inhale and mountain. Exhale, left side runner. Push back with the left right heel. Step forward with the left foot. Inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine through the crown of the head. Exhale, mountain. Lift the back knee. Sway back to mountain. Inhale here. Exhale, right side runner. Push back with the left heel. Curve the spine, step forward with the right foot. Lower the back knee. Inhale, lengthening from the base through the crown of the head into runner. Inhale in runner. Exhale, extended leg stretch. The sit bones move back with the lengthened spine, the front leg straightens. If you've got blocks, you might like to put them on the high side. Inhale here, exhale runner. Curve the spine, tuck the tailbone, the front knee bends as the hips move forward to runner. Inhale, lengthening from the base through the crown of the head. Exhale, extended leg stretch. Sway back with the sit bones with a lengthened spine. The front leg straightens. <clears throat> Inhale here. Exhale, runner. Tuck the tailbone, curve the spine. The hips move forward into runner. Inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine up through the crown. Exhale, extended leg stretch. Asana. Sit bones sway back. The front leg straightens and hold. So if, again, you might need a pillow underneath that left knee to do the asana. Making sure that you have both hips <clears throat> are on the same level. There's no twist in it. Your hips are actually level with each other. You might need to slide that front heel forward a little bit to get the stretch in your leg. 
You can lower the spine as much as you want, but the spine needs to really remain extended or lengthened. Complete breath, filling your lower, your middle, your upper lungs. On your next exhale, right side runner asana, tuck the tailbone, curve the spine. The hips move forward when the front knee bends. Inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine up through the crown of the head, the runner asana. The shoulders are back and relaxed down. Your sternum is nice and lifted. Complete Ujjayi breath. Really feeling the stretch <clears throat> in both thighs, posterior in one, anterior in the other. It's a beautiful stretch, especially as we age. On your next exhale, mountain. Making sure that your blocks, if you're using them, are on the lower side. Lift the back knee and sway back to mountain. Inhaling mountain. Exhale, left side runner. Push back through the right heel. Curve the spine, bring the left foot forward and the back knee lowers. Inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine up through the crown of the head. Exhale, extended leg stretch. Sit bones move back and the front leg straightens. Inhale here. Exhale, runner. Tuck the tailbone, curve the spine. The hips move forward. Inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine through the crown. Exhale, extended leg stretch. Sit bones move back with a lengthened spine. Front leg straightens. Inhale here. Exhale, runner. Tuck the tailbone, curve the spine. The hips move forward. Inhale and runner. Exhale, extended leg stretch, sit bones move back as the front leg straightens and hold for extended leg stretch, asana. Noticing how the toes just naturally turn up on that front leg when the leg straightens. Complete to a J breath. Breathing into your lower, middle, upper lungs. Spine is lovely and lengthened. The hips are level. If you're using blocks, you might want to bring the blocks a little bit closer to you. Again, if you need a cushion, a little pillow underneath that knee, okay to do that. On your next exhale, runner, tuck the tailbone, curve the spine, the hips move forward as the front knee bends. Inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine up through the crown of the head and hold for runner asana. Shoulders are back and relaxed down. Sternum beautifully lifted. Making sure that your knee is over your ankle on that front leg.
complete or jay breath. Filling your lower, your middle, your upper lungs. On your next exhale, mountain. Lift the back knee with a lengthened spine, sway back to mountain. Mountain asana. Breathing into your complete breath, really pressing up and back through the sit bones to lengthen the spine. On your next exhale, cap tuck, tuck the chin, curve the spine. The knees lower. Inhale, cat, lengthening from the base of the spine through the crown of the head. Exhale, child, release the toes. Sway back to child, for child asana. Relaxing in your child asana, relaxing into your complete breath, relaxing into yourself. On your next exhale, prep natural seat, tuck the chin, curve the spine, vertebra by vertebra. When the shoulders come over the hips, inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Exhale, hinge forwards to cat. If you have blocks, put your hands on the blocks. Inhale here, tuck the toes, lift the knees and sway back to mountain. Inhale in mountain. Lift the upper body into mountain lift. And you can either walk forward or jump forward into earth touch. So if you wanna jump, lift the heels, bend the knees, and just jump forward into earth touch. Earth touch, asana. Complete breath, filling your lower, your middle, your upper lungs. With breath awareness on your next exhale, roll to standing, knees bend, tuck the tailbone, curve the spine, vertebra by vertebra. When the shoulders come over the hips, inhale, upward salute, arms up through the sides. Exhale, hands to heart and flowing on release. Standing asana, making sure that you're a foot length away from your blocks if you're using blocks. Focusing on your breath, filling your lower, your middle, your upper lungs. And 
with breath awareness on your next inhale, forward salute, interlace your hands in front of your hips and lift, forward salute. Exhale, earth touch, sit bones move back, knees bend with a lengthened spine lower. As your hands reach the earth, the spine relaxes down. Inhale, monkey, the sit bones move back. With a lengthened spine, bring your hands to your blocks. Lift the heels, bend the knees and either walk back or jump back to mountain. Inhale in mountain. Exhale, cap tuck, tuck the chin, curve the spine. And knees lower, shoulders come over the wrists. Inhale, cat, lengthening from the base through the crown of the head. Exhale, child, release the toes, sway back to child with the arms forward. And if you're using blocks, you can put them to one side now and try and shuffle back <clears throat> as far to the back of your mat as you can. Focusing on your breath. Complete or J breath. Complete breath in, complete breath out. On your next exhale, prep natural suit, tuck the chin, curve the spine, the shoulders come over the hips, inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine through the crown into natural seat, hands to heart and namaste. Exhale, hinge forwards into a long cat, so just stretching your arms out a little bit further so you've got a little bit more distance. Inhale, diagonal slant, bring the hips forward. So you have a diagonal line between the knees, the hips and the shoulders. Exhale, face down, really tone your core and lowering your thighs, your abdomen, chest, neck, bring your forehead to the mat. Inhale, Cobra to lift, lift the head and the heart, then lift a little bit higher. And then lengthening from the base through the crown of the head. Exhale, lower. Inhale, Cobra to lift. Lift the head and the heart. Then lift a little bit higher. And then lengthening from the base up through the crown of the head. Exhale, lower. Only, only lift as far as you can. There's not meant to be any pain. Just a little bit of a stretch. Inhale, Cobra to lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, Cobra to lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, Cobra to lift. And lift the hips and sway back to child. Child asana, breathing into your lower, your middle, your upper lungs. On your next exhale, prep natural seat, tuck the chin, curve the spine. Inhale, lengthening from the base through the crown. Hands to heart in namaste. Exhale, hinge forwards again to a long cat. Inhale, bring your hips forward to diagonal slant. Tone your core, pull up through the pelvic floor. And exhale, face down. And slide your arms forwards into extended face down. Inhale, half cobra. 
slide your elbows underneath your shoulders, also called sphinx. Inhale, lengthening from the base of the spine through the crown of the head. And hold for half cobra asana. Your shoulders are back and relaxed down. Pressing into the mat through your pubic bone and the tops of your feet. Lengthening from, lengthening up through the crown of the head. Complete Ujjayi breath. On your next exhale, extended face down, the arms slide forward. Inhale, <clears throat> slide your left elbow underneath your left shoulder. So you're kind of like in the um, cobra position just with one side. And then slide the lengthened arm around and bring it to the side, the left side, so that you're lying on that, you're lying on that right shoulder. So you're gonna half turn into knees to chest. Bend to the left knee and bring the left foot to the mat behind the right knee. And just lift the hips and shift yourself onto the center of your mat. Bring your arms to a T position. Stepping in with your right foot, arms to the side. And exhale, bring both knees to chest. Knees to chest, asana. Complete breath, filling your lower, your middle, your upper lungs. You can stay still at the center or you can rock just from side to side. On your next exhale, prep hip side stretch, bring your arms to a T position, your feet partial recline and extend your left leg along the mat. Inhale, shift the hips to the right and exhale, twist with the knee to the left, making sure both shoulders stay fully grounded on the mat. Head can stay center or turned in the opposite direction to the twist. Focusing on your complete breath, feeling your spine releasing into the twist with each breath. On your next exhale, slowly, vertebra by vertebra, unwind and shift your hips back to center. Inhale, step in with the left foot, bring your arms beside you and exhale, tuck the tailbone and bring both knees to chest. Inhale here. Exhale, prep the hip side stretch, opposite side, arms T, feet partial recline, extend your right leg on the mat. Inhale, shift the hips to the left and exhale, twist with your knee to the right. Both shoulders stay grounded. You might like to place a block or a pillow underneath your knee to feel rounded to the earth. It can stay central or turn in the opposite direction. <clears throat> Complete breath, filling your lower, your middle, your upper lung, allowing your body, your whole body, to relax into the twist. Noticing where there's any tension and just allowing that tension to relax.
with breath awareness on your next exhale, slowly vertebra by vertebra, unwind and shift your hip center. Inhale, step in with the right foot, arms beside you and exhale, bring both knees to chest. Knees to chest, asana, complete ujjayi breath. Filling your lower, your middle, your upper line. On your next exhale, recline butterfly. Feet and arms lower to partially recline. Inhale, lift both heels and rotate the knees out to the sides, bringing the soles of the feet together. Recline butterfly asana. Complete breath, filling your lungs to a comfortable maximum. Complete breath in, complete breath out. And if you want to stay here for your yoga nidra and deep relaxation, you can. Or you can transition to tranquility if it's more comfortable, which is your legs extended on the mat, whichever is most comfortable for you. I'll guide you through your deep relaxation. Relaxing on your back with your eyes closed. Placing your head and your spine in natural alignment. Your arms and hands in a relaxed position. They can be alongside your body on your mat with your palms facing upwards or can be placed on your chest or your abdomen in a mudra. Observing your complete breath. On the next inhalation, fill the lungs to maximum capacity. As you exhale, the facial muscles relax, the jaw releases, and the neck relaxes. On the next inhalation, fill the lungs to maximum capacity. Breathe into every space of the lungs. As you exhale, feel the shoulders, the arms, hands, and fingers relax. The chest, the abdominal area, and the pelvis relaxes as the back releases to the earth. On the next inhalation, fill the lungs to maximum capacity. As you exhale, feel the hips relax, the buttocks release, the legs, feet, and toes relax. Feel the support of the earth as the body continues to relax, letting go of all tension. Releasing now into the natural breath with a gentle expansion of the abdomen on the inhale and a gentle softening of the abdomen on the exhale. Allow the eyes to be gently focused in the inner gaze. Witness the thoughts and emotions, allowing them to flow through the mind's awareness. As you reside in the present moment, the thoughts lessen. Be aware of the space between the thoughts. The feeling of expansiveness pervades. Feel relaxed, fearless and free. The inner strength allows the body to remain relaxed, the mind calm and the spirit blissful. Enjoy the deep relaxation.
bringing your awareness to your breath. Bringing your awareness back to your body, bringing some movement to your body. Bringing your knees to your chest. <clears throat> On your next inhale, extend your <clears throat> left arm behind your head. And exhale, twist with your knees to the left, bringing your right hand to the earth in front of your chest. And when you're ready, just move yourself up into your most comfortable seated position. From the light in me to the light in you, sharing in the light of oneness. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's so Thank lovely. You. As they were feeling. <laughs> well, we've, it's perfect. We've used up our time, so it's perfect. So I'm just going to check in on everyone. We Thank have. you so much. I really <laughs> love that. Oh. Delicious. I haven't left any time for questions. No, it's but... good. <laughs> I just it was just good just to experience. I think it's exactly what we needed. I certainly <clears throat> just needed that. It was like a really beautiful class. Thank you so much. Oh, good. I'm hey, glad. over to you. Jackie, do you want to add anything or ask anything? Oh, it was beautiful. Um, I struggled with the knees, but um I put a cushion underneath them that helped a bit. I realise that it's been a long time since I've done a yoga class and I'm feeling quite not flexible. But it was still lovely. And that's what happens, isn't it, when we don't practice yeah, for it was, a while. It was, like, yeah. it was challenging, but it was it was good. <laughs> good, good. And the more you practice, the more you'll open again and you'll get the flexibility back. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Susanna, My pleasure. just unmute yourself. How are you feeling? <laughs> uh, yes, no, that was lovely. Really, really enjoyed nice. that. And I'm uh, same as Jackie. I felt, you know, the knees. Um, yeah, a little bit of um inflammation there, I think. But um, yeah, it was good. Just need to practice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good, I did that tonight. <laughs> yeah, a you know, a lot of people me. have it. Yeah, a lot of people do. It's it's kind of um, I have one particular knee that just plays up from time to time, and yeah, just need a little bit more height, maybe under your buttocks when you're in natural seat, and, oh. and when you're doing runner, you probably need cushion underneath your knee, you know, because that mm. can be a bit hard again, even when you've got. Actually, I quite often use three mats <laughs> for that reason. Yeah. 
How about you go, inshallah? That was lovely. Thank you. I especially enjoyed the end of it, as always. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's favorite pose, Shavasana. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah. well, that, was, that was really really beautiful I didn't realise I needed that but I really did and it was oh, nice just to drop into it so really oh. appreciate it ah oh, beautiful My pleasure. So, yeah it's gorgeous so I'm going to definitely look at this again so I'll send a recording to everyone we can do the session a few times mm. and um, yeah love yeah, a lovely I've... evening Sorry, someone was saying something. Was that you, oh, Susanna? No, it's good for the morning to kind of just, you know, move everything around mm -hmm. once you've woken up first thing gently and not, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. For sure. Beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Thank you all for joining me. I can smell my dinner. Matt's making dinner, so I can smell my <laughs> dinner. Same, I can, hear can the, you... I can hear the saucepans clanging in the kitchen. I know, that's what I know. That's doing exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> ladies thank you all so much for joining us that's so beautiful and for those that are watching the replay you can find deb's details i'll add deb's details to the follow-up so if you want to reach out to deb deb does so many wonderful things as a coach yeah. so you can reach out to her okay yeah so if you have you. any questions at all any questions yeah just let me know fantastic <laughs> thank you thank you all thank for you. joining live and for thank those you. watching the replay Okay. See you all. Bye. Bye. Thank you. It's beautiful, Bye. beautiful flying Bye. with you. Bye. 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 Namaste. <laughs> See you. Namaste. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs>